How hard do you have to work to make it, quote unquote, make it in the entertainment industry? Probably harder than you want, <laughs> if I'm being honest, or at least it's been harder than I want. <laughs> it's like, I, I think that um, it can be hard on multiple levels. Like first, it's difficult because if you don't come from wealth, if you don't have kind of a safety net, then there is a period of time where you might have to be without a safety net, which to me at least is extremely stressful. And I know to a lot of people it's very stressful. Or maybe you're working a full-time job like I did when I first started and doing comedy at night and like making writing at night and doing everything at night or in the first thing in the morning before work. So you're kind of burning the candle at both ends. So your quality of life kind of suffers and you struggle. Um, but I don't think that it is, I, I don't think it's like particularly harder than anything else. If that makes sense, like I think it's hard to be a lawyer. <laughs> I think it's competitive to be a doctor. I think it's hard to pass um, maybe your series license to be like a finance guy or something on Wall Street. I don't know. <laughs> like I think for some people it's really hard to get their real estate license. Like everything is challenging. I think for me, what helped was giving myself a timeline because I looked at the difficulty of breaking into the industry, the level of competition, the fact that it is extremely unpredictable um, to work consistently is what I saw. You know, for a lot of people, it's hard to work consistently. Like you could work a few times, maybe it's hard to like build a whole career. Um, and I gave myself 10 years because I started when I was 24. I said, if I can't make a living by the time I'm 34, then thank you very much. I came, I saw, I conquered. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a job and I'm gonna live my life. And I'll be perfectly happy with that because I scratched my itch. I did the thing that, I, that my gut was telling me to do and I went and did it knowing fully well that it is difficult, that it is hard and accepting that level of difficulty. So with that said, I think it's totally possible. <laughs> like I, with that said, with it being difficult, I think that it is possible. It is just hard, but I want to say that things are hard. Other things are hard. This is just about, I don't know. I think that there are so many other factors that impact your level of success. It depends on the, t uh, the timing that you're in, what is being bought, what's popular, or are you able to create something original enough that is something that can be bought? Like, can you sell something on the market that is when the market is what it is at the time? You know, so I just kind of feel like, yes, it is hard, but a lot of things are hard. That's true. I mean, staying in a small town and working the same place and being in the same neighborhood for 20 years, that's that's hard too. It can be hard. It can be monotonous. It can be boring. It can be unfulfilling, just like doing picking a career that is your passion. Sometimes it can be boring. Sometimes it can be monotonous. Sometimes it can be unfulfilling. Um, I think it's just life. I think that that is what is great about life is that at the end of the day, our agency is in choosing what, choosing our adventure, choosing what we get to do and how we get to spend our time. Um, and there's nothing idyllic about being a writer. It's still a job. It's still hard. It can be boring. <laughs> it can be exciting. It can be amazing. It can be creative, but it can also be long days and late nights and, you know, t being tired and like not feeling creative and not feeling funny <laughs> anymore at a certain point. It's like, I just think that like life, you can choose to enjoy your life. That is the point. Like whether you're doing, whether you stayed in your small town and you lived by close by home and you did whatever, you're going to have hard days. If you chose to move to Hollywood and be a writer, you're going to have hard days <laughs> and that's it. Right. Wait till you come out and see that your car has been towed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mean, <laughs> Especially what happened in Hollywood. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Did you tell anyone that you had given yourself 10 years? I don't know. I don't know. I definitely told myself. <laughs> Very, you know, 
very explicitly. I don't think I told anyone. I, I didn't think it was something that people necessarily needed to know. It's definitely something I tell people now. Um, just because I just think that like when we enter something that we know is so unpredictable and unpromised, you know, like having a long career in the Hollywood biz industry, I think it's just, I'm a very practical person. And I think it's just practical to know that it'll take a good chunk of time. That's why I gave myself 10 years and not five, because five years goes by like that. And you don't even see it go. You need a good chunk of time. You need time to learn and to build yourself up and to build up those skills and to make those connections and to like be creative and live your life. Like you need time. So I gave myself 10 years, but I also knew that I, it's not going to be personal. I'm not going to take it personal if I don't get to a certain point because I'm aware that not everybody is going to get to work. Not everybody's going to, it's competitive. It, th that just is what it is. So I'm going to give myself a certain amount of time and I'm just going to create as much as I can create and do as much as I can do and get as good as I can possibly get in those 10 years. And that's the goal. And then if I get rewarded with work consistently, then it tells me I'm on the right track. If I get to a point where I'm like in year eight or year nine and I'm not seeing traction, I'm not seeing momentum, that's my call. <laughs> you know, like that's my call. If I get to year 10 and there's been no, no momentum and no traction, then I give myself permission to go do something else that is of interest to me.